I've lived through a lot of different treatment uh, for people with disabilities. Caring for their bodies, making sure they have a place to live and food to eat and go to the doctor and stuff. That's one thing, but we have to go beyond that now. On a typical Monday, I really wouldn't do much of anything, just watch my favorite TV shows. There's not really much out there. Zach wants to pretty much try everything. He picks things up real easy, like he could tell you everything that's happening and you don't need to watch the news. <laughs> it's a real struggle because, you know, autism, whatever their, their needs are, don't go away once they graduate and they leave school. But still, parents are left wondering what to do with their kids. There would be some programs in um, disability organizations, but they're often patronizing, um, not meaningful. How many times can you take the same thing over and over? What KUDOS offers is it, it's a way of activating and harnessing sort of the informal capacity of community to share uh, passions, to learn from one another, to take care of each other. KUDOS is really introducing people to each other uh, at its heart and introducing people to the world that they may not have had a chance to experience because of the way they've been um, segregated. They're just as creative and just as imaginative and just as spirited as anyone else, so why do we have these barriers? My number one favorite one so far, besides the Japanese experience, was the tour of Massey Theatre. It was so much fun. I think Jordana's a leader. I felt immediately I would love to encourage her. And um, I think building a bridge is the most challenging part. And once it starts to happen, we can run with it. And, and you know, the Kadoors can become an integrated part of our organization, I think. From the theater experience, I learned that could be opportunities to be an usher, guide people to their seats. I see my future pretty good. There could be job opportunities, I'm not sure. Mom is really hoping so. <laughs> and we'll see what happens. There's one the behind the stage. Uh, I got lots of stuff in it. And the next one, uh, I watched the guy on these things behind the scene. What was really inspiring for me from being with Cody was that she has all kinds of creative ideas and she doesn't have an outlet for them. I remember making some suggestions that, you know, she could make a show, bring it back here, maybe doing some video shooting or whatever uh, medium uh, would come. Hi, Jessica. Hi. How are you, Jessica? Can we have a seat? How are you? How are you doing? I'm good. Good to see you. It's been a while. One of the broader impacts that we hope to see is folks who have had maybe traditionally very narrow set of interests be able to talk about this many more things and therefore be able to engage with this many more people. My favorite experience was meeting the mayor of New Westminster. I felt special when I got to declare something at the mayor's desk. I think uh, learning has to be something that is, is is a lifelong process. I think of my own experiences and, and going back to uh, going back to school actually only five years ago. You know, I think that's just a big part of life. This is the online kudos catalog with all the different experiences. One of the things that um, I am really proud to have worked on is to not just have kudos experiences be you know something fun and exciting but to actually put some real thinking behind how to make them into learning experiences. We learn best by combining different sensory modalities. So one of the things that we've tried to incorporate in every kudos learning experience is what kinds of things kudos can touch or smell or hear. Reflection Cafe it happens at the Heartwood Cafe. It's where Kudoers get together and you talk about your experiences. Kudos provides those moments that can spark 
reflection and reflection can then spark learning. The reflective piece allows us to flesh out one's life and one's path. A badge is like an award for going on the experiences. Marlene is receiving the festive food badge as well as the hair care badge, never to be mixed. Holly. There's some cognitive disabilities and, and challenges that cities need to be aware of. So it's programs like the Kudos program that I think is really going to start the ball rolling on that just like we started the ball rolling on, on physical accessibility 20, 30 years ago.